All right. We are continuing our conversation with Derek here at Derek Allen's Barbecue in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, so let's just jump into it. When did you embark on this barbecue journey of yours? So it all started in uh, 2015. Um, just like other guys on the weekends, uh, grilling out. I mean, I've, I'd been grilling out on the weekends for a long time. And then uh, 2015 on my birthday, I just decided I was going to go all in on opening up a barbecue food trailer. I had been studying a lot of guys, how they were doing it, Franklin and all these guys in Austin. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just like, you know, I can do that. So I uh, opened it up. We jumped right in. Jumped right in. We (laughs) bought the, we we didn't have a lot of money to start with. So we got the trailer. It was a pretty much a white box trailer. Uh, We did all the work, most of it ourselves. Um, So I was out there in hundred degree heat, like, nailing up aluminum sheeting and right. just you know figuring out all these things on my own as i went along uh it was really really hard and then uh we opened up uh two, 2000 may of 2015 um and then uh just set up in a spot in grapevine and started from there kind of built our following up and uh yeah. we, we stayed open on the weekends and just built our following and you know after a few months we were doing really well and you had something there yeah and yeah. were you doing the wagyu um all along or no did- so so then it was it was great because i was able to test all this different product uh-huh, as i was okay. running the food trailer so i was you know trying all the farms out there uh cooking prime 44 farms uh heart brand all these different brands to really see what i wanted to hone in on and what I really liked more than the others and uh, so that's where I really started getting into Wagyu and uh, trying different providers Snake River Farms and then I found this local provider here uh, called Wagyu XL and they're out of uh, it's called Gearheart Ranch but they're in uh, Midlothian and Fort Davis okay and um, so that's who we use here that's the best product I've found so that's what we use awesome so uh you were out in grapevine why did you decide to open up in fort worth uh so honestly i mean this spot chose us uh and i really think it was you know god really moving my my life in this direction uh we had found a spot in frisco we live in grapevine but we had found a spot in frisco and then that deal really didn't work out and uh It was, you know, really heartbreaking for me because I thought we were supposed to be in Frisco. We had been in this project for a year and um, then, you know, that didn't work out. And then I, you know, I was almost ready to give up and then this spot just popped up and I didn't really know much about this area. So I I was born at Harris, but we hadn't been over here in years. So I didn't know where any of the other barbecue places were, you know? So I really had to learn this area but I knew that it was great because of the traffic and the hospitals and everything. And, and uh, so we just, you know, again, we have no investors. So we just went all in on this spot and really trusted, you know, God to provide and, and our faith and it's working out so far, you know? Yeah. So you have a couple of stories of perseverance. Oh yeah. Here. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I also read somewhere that you build or you built your own pits. Yes, that's correct. So that's, you know, where I was kind of getting prepared for this spot. I mean, this happened, you know, two years before uh, when we were in the Frisco project. Um, It's just something I got myself into, just taught myself how to weld. And um, my my dad, actually, he's owned a welding business in Houston for years. Um, So but I, I hadn't really been much into welding, you know, sure. even though he's like runs the whole operation. So I, uh, I just started getting into it and started really enjoying it. You know, it's just another part of my passion that I really enjoy is building the smokers. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah, then I just started cranking out these smokers. And, uh, so we have two that I've built back there and I'm working on a third one to replace one of the other ones that we had on our food truck. And so, so do you still have the food truck in operation? No, so that? we sold that so okay. we could get money for this spot. Sure. And 
Yeah, it's very hard to do uh, barbecue out of a food truck. You yeah. know, legit barbecue. <laughs> sure. Then you have to have a trailer with a barbecue pit on the back, and it's it's a lot of work out of a trailer. So it sounds like when you want to do something, you like to understand how it works. You kind of jump in feet first, whether it's because, you know, money's tight or because you want to understand it. It's the same go for, I mean, you make your own rubs, your own uh, vanilla That's extracts. Right. That's right. So is that, I mean, what's the... Did you start experimenting yeah, that, and just Well, decide? that's just, you know, all of it's really a part of my passion is uh, I believe if you're truly passionate about something, you want to do it to the best of your ability. So, you know, if, if we didn't make our own rubs, it's like if I'm putting something else on my brisket, I know in my heart that I can do better than that, you know? Yeah. So it's like, okay, well, I've got to make my own rubs. And then that's kind of become like another thing in my life is... Uh, I love like spices and stuff. Like I can talk about spices for hours, right. you know, <laughs> same with the welding and everything else. So, and then the vanilla, just, I just looked it up on how do we make, you know, cause I saw people uh, making their own vanilla and it's just so easy to make, you know, I don't know why anyone wouldn't make it already. Sure. You know, it just, you have to age it, but that's just time, you right. know? So if you're prepared, then you can have aged vanilla. You well, know? and time is, is part of the whole, barbecue process too right we were kind of talking oh, yeah, about yeah. that <laughs> it's a long process <laughs> yeah. yeah so um my husband and i we've only been to a couple of barbecue competitions but we found oh, that i saw that by the way <laughs> just a couple um so we're very novice but we, we very much appreciate everything that you know you've told us that goes into it um but we've noticed that the barbecue community was not only like tight-knit but just incredibly supportive and it seems like from your what you've been putting out there on social media that a lot of your, you know, com comrades yeah, or yeah, people who you've yeah. maybe had influencers. Can you talk a little bit more, more about like some of your biggest influencers or supporters and what that has been like throughout this process? Yeah. I mean, uh, like I said, we didn't really know the Fort Worth community mm -hmm. when, when we got into this spot and, uh, really a lot of the other barbecue guys in the area have shown what the community is all about here and uh you know panther city uh dane he's opening up down the road he does uh pop-ups uh hurtado out in arlington uh Joe uh, i've been meaning to get out there i need to try yeah. it. yeah <laughs> so all these guys i mean they've really just shown a lot of love and uh and we're you know riding with them i mean i want to help them any way that i can they come in and eat here all the time we talk all the time so it's been awesome yeah I mean, you couldn't really ask for better neighbors around here that's amazing um well i think the only other thing i wanted to ask you was you know if you could eat only one food the rest of your life what would it be would it still be sushi oh man that <laughs> yeah no one, yeah, well right? it'd have to be fish okay yeah but uh you know sushi and uh i love seafood fish and i love to fish so okay i would say fish so this is probably, you know, obviously you spent a ton of time getting this place up. If you had free time, what do you do in that time? Fishing. Fishing. Yeah. Okay. So that, yeah, that's, <laughs> if I wasn't doing barbecue, it was going to be fishing. So. And this is a whole family affair too, right? Your, that's your right. Wife? Yeah. We had uh, my wife, she runs the register. Her brother does the dishes. He actually rides the, uh, the bus from Dallas every day. Oh my it's goodness. A, it's wow. It's a two hour. He gets on the bus and then he takes the train. It's a two hour trip back and forth. And uh, that's so, how good the barbecue is. And yeah. obviously it's a testament to you and your wife and, you know, working for good people and, and seeing what I can't wait to see what God continues to do here. And, and in this community, I mean, this barbecue is yeah. obviously you've you've seen a lot of support and I, we hope that it continues. Thanks. Do, any plans to expand? Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. mean, we're already praying for that, you know, yeah. and have been, and it's going to happen just under God's timing. Sure. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. There you have it. Uh, thank you, Derek, for your time today. Be sure to visit uh, thenoteexperiment.com uh, for more on this and other noteworthy things. And get down here. I don't care if you are in Dallas or anywhere else, Austin. Come on up. Try Derek Allen's barbecue. You will not regret it. <laughs>